Hello, we are uh, at the Museum of Natural History, but in Berlin. Do you prefer the one in Berlin or the one in London, to be honest? Uh, so different. I mean, this is, this is my home here now, but I worked in the one in London, and they're very, very different. Um, this has a largely adult audience, um, you know, so it's a bit of a really. And uh, the one in London is... It's I more... grew up near it. <laughs> did, 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 you, did you even grow up inside of the museum? Did you run around back and forth all the time? I, I certainly remember one of my very early childhood memories is in the Natural History Museum in London. What did you do there? Just roam around in the shop and saw some gummy animals? Uh, no, something? no, no. They didn't have those things when I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> was, was there a shop or no? Uh, I, know, I don't even remember the shop when I was a child, but they did have a wonderful display of birds. Um, and you could press a button, uh, and then the bird would uh, would sing the song. Oh, really? Yeah, which is fun because I now work on the nightingale in Berlin. So. You do? Yes. So you're a, you're a bird expert. I am a nightingale expert. Uh, this is what nightingale experts look like. Yes. Can you can, can you mimic uh, a nightingale sound? Yeah, you really want me to. Yes, please come a little bit closer. Okay. Oh, that is so fucking uh, hilarious. Excuse Sorry, me. It's, it's hilarious. It's <laughs> okay, okay. So, are you ready? My I'm children ready. mustn't see this because they'll be too embarrassed. <laughs> okay, they go. That's so. Oh, where is, or do, do, they, do they have different accents in different parts yeah, of them? Well, this is what we're looking for, actually. We want everyone to download our app, Naturblick, and uh, in about one month's time, there'll be nightingales all over Germany, and we want people to record the nightingale, and this will be downloaded onto our website at Forschungsfall Nachtigall, and uh, we're looking to see whether there are regional dialects. Why, why do you like nightingales so oh. much? I think there's such a lot of cultural kind of uh, baggage with the nightingale. I'm interested in people getting to know the real bird. Um, I think most people know the stories about the nightingale. You know the Oscar Wilde and the reference in Romeo and Juliet. The younger ones, look it up. Yes, yes younger please. ones, please, look at our website. <laughs> no, and also look up the cultural references because they probably don't know. Yeah, maybe not. You, you also have a, a positive baggage concerning birds. Yes. Because you're the, what, the granddaughter yeah, great, of Charles Darwin? Great, great. The great granddaughter. granddaughter of Charles Darwin. Did that make you interested in birds too? Because younger ones, look it up, Darwin finches Darwin are a big, finches, to, are yeah. a big topic. Is, is yeah. that, has this something to, to do with you or no? Um, I've always liked birds. I'm uh, not sure that it's got anything to do with Charles Darwin, but. Maybe, who knows? Maybe. Do, do you know his fantastic work about earthworms? Yes. Do, isn't that something great? That about? is, I think he spent years studying earthworms. And rightly so, actually, because, I mean, without earthworms, we would really, our agriculture would suffer, our forests would suffer, everything. Nightingales would probably also suffer. Do nightingales eat earthworms? They tend to eat um, insects, uh, <laughs> which, of course, don't mention that here tonight, you know, because this is a, a pro-insect. <laughs> But it's not anti-bird. It's not anti-bird. Uh, no. What What do you think about all the birds coming uh, in, in, uh, towards uh, Berlin, like you know, Stare and and all the other birds? Is that healthy or is that a sign of something going wrong? Well, if those birds a, go to I the hope middle. it's a healthy sign that we have a very very green city. We are one third uh, water and forest. Um, we look after our parks, um, and I hope. But having nature in the city is a healthy sign. So, final question, since this is an insect meeting, yes. um, uh, do, you, do you think that everything is, is going down the drain and nature is dying, or being a person who is working with nature all day and, and you know, uh, feeling in contact with nature, do you think it's going to be okay sooner or later? Well, I hope it's okay, but I, I think we really need to change our lifestyles. We have challenges ahead, let's put it like that. What, um, what would be your, your, your best uh, hint for somebody who wants to change his or her lifestyle tonight? What would be something that they could do right away? Well, I think um, reducing your meat uh, in your diet would be a really, really helpful start. You heard it from the grand-granddaughter and the wife of the director of the museum and the, the expert for nightingales. Well, one of the experts. One of the, one experts. Of the I, I'm really more of the cultural uh, expert. Uh, the rest of my team are experts in the, the nature, the natural part of the nightingale. Okay, so you are in the biological web of nightingale experts. Yes, and, I, and, I, and now we have to go. Cheers, don't eat meat.
respect insects and birds. Okay, here's Sarah again. How do you say Sarah? How do you say Sarah. Sarah? Sarah. Thank you. Okay, not 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 uh, American English. And um, she has a coworker, and the coworker has a, has an app, and this app can <laughs> can can record nightingale sounds. And we we will check you and the app. Absolutely. Right. Yes. What's the app about? You can record uh, bird songs. Yeah. Right? So the app is called Naturblick. And with the app, you can either take photos, and the app might tell you what plant it is, or you record bird voices. And let me try whether I can imitate correctly a nightingale. Oh, we, we remember Sarah Darwin yeah. imitating the nightingale. Her imitation is better. Yeah. Let's see. No, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. okay, let me do. I'll do the whistling of the nightingale. Das Schluchzen der Nachtigall. Oh. Okay, here we go. All right, I have my little spectrogram, <laughs> and now I can ask the app. Ausschnitt oh. bestimmen. I don't want. I, I I'm now uh, going anonymous. 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 <laughs> and let me see. Oh gosh, so much pressure. Yes, the, yeah, it's so a lot much of pressure. pressure. No, it's a lot of pressure. It looks pretty good, though. Yes. yes! <laughs> so apparently, I'm. The four star nightingale. Yeah, four star nightingale. What, what does four star I mean? Four yeah. star. So you can out see how many stars? Out of out, out of five bars, I'm a four star. But nightingale. what would make you a five star nightingale? Oh, that's a good question. To be really honest, the probably real the thing. real Some thing. feathers. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. You did so well. Cool. Yes, I'm proud of myself. That was really good.